So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. And uh, I received a very interesting and also a very long question about the starting of a microscopy club for children. And uh, I'm going to read uh, the question to you and I'm going to give you my opinion on this uh, question here. And uh, so let's get started here. I have a seven years old daughter who has been, uh, who has, uh, been asking me to show her microbes, germs, etc. It started uh, during COVID when everyone around her at school and at home started insisting she washes her hands and always wears a mask. I promised her two years ago that one day I will show her the things and prove that we are not making things up. I guess uh, that day has come for us. Her birthday is coming up this summer and I thought about keeping my promise would be a good present for her. I accidentally stumbled upon your wonderful YouTube channel. After watching every video, I'm hooked. Um, I want to pick up microbe watching as a hobby and, if possible, start a microbi uh, microbiology club for my daughter and her friends. I realize my club won't be cool enough if I cannot show live and colorful microbes like how you show in your videos. I would like to connect a TV or laptop. With that being said, I'm not convinced the Swift SW380T um, that is listed in your virtual shop is good enough for my purposes. Money and portability are not an issue. Could you please guide me? Obviously, um, our goal is not to do a lab research, but the microscope should be able to produce cool, colorful displays like yours. Our first experiment will be to put alcohol on lactobacillus and convince my daughter that our COVID story was true. Thanks for your help. Looking forward for hearing from you. I think it will be a wonderful birthday present for her. Well, thank you very much for the question. I think it is, especially when children, when education plays a role here. Um, I'm all in it for, uh, for it, of course, because I myself am a teacher. I have two children. Um, and I think education and also getting people fascinated, kids fascinated with uh, biology and generally nature exploration is very important. A couple of uh, points that I would like uh, to make here. Um, first of all, um, if you want to do microscopy with children, especially children um, at around seven eight years of age i highly recommend i highly recommend that you go out and you get yourself a stereo microscope not a compound microscope but a stereo microscope and the reason is it's quite easy um, you can the kids can collect samples at home they bring it to your newly created microscopy club you put it under the microscope directly no specimen preparation is required and then you can look at it and uh, there is because there is no specimen preparation required and um, people can the kids can start observing directly okay there is no delay here uh, otherwise the kids might get bored a little bit uh, because otherwise if you take I don't know that let's say the kids found some kind of a leaf somewhere uh, that they want to put under the microscope and then you cannot put it under the microscope because first you have to cut it and you have to I don't know microtome it and ah oh, and by the time you're finished preparing it you already lost the interest um, of the children so go for a stereo microscope you can directly put it under um, the microscope and then you get an upright image and the stereo microscope is a more direct extension of the natural senses so you see everything um, yeah on, on the leaf but only larger um, if you go the direction of a compound microscope then the images can become very abstract very quickly you can see the cells but okay uh, and then what okay um, so that's m suggestion number one suggestion number two however you already have rather specific um, ideas of what you would like to show them uh, for example lactobacillus which you can obtain from yogurt they're safe sources and of course if kids want to see now they're very small bacteria and so on um, then of course a stereo microscope is not going to do it so my suggestion is you've guessed it uh, get both right um so uh but i would say that if you want to get kids involved uh, actively uh, so that they actually observe i don't know the dirt on the under the fingernails and so on uh, then a stereo microscope is really a good idea now concerning the, the 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 suggestion that i made so basically in my um amazon web shop um, affiliate shop um, i recommended the swift sw380t which is um, yeah for the price a pretty decent microscope, um, but I will tell you that um, the imaging technique um, of all of those microscopes um, are different than what I have. Um, I have so-called DIC imaging, which is a pretty advanced technique and which gives very colorful images, and that's essentially what you're referring to. And it also gives a slightly three-dimensional view and a very high resolution. 
right? Um, th this is not something that I would recommend um, at this stage. Definitely not, uh, simply because of, uh, yeah, um, it, it's too advanced and, and cost issues. Um, and uh, especially when you're starting out with microscopy, I generally recommend that you do not invest too much at the beginning um, because uh, you need to gain experience first and then you can always upgrade to something better. And microscopes like the Swift SW380T and with similar uh, microscopes essentially they're pretty much the same concerning image quality right but if you want to have more then essentially you um, you're actually going up uh, a significant step so for example the one uh, that you have over here the eye scope from from the company Euromax I recently did a review on that um, will is also a bright field essentially will produce the same um, images um, as the Swift right because um, it is bright field however those more expensive larger microscopes have other significant advantages because they are larger they're more stable they're more easy to use um, they have it has a nice filter holder the optics of course are, are better you can still get yourself one of those microscopes um, and then you add certain filters to, uh, for dark field for Reinberg for oblique illumination and this microscope also allows it and uh, for this reason um, you can still get a much wider view of different um, yeah, colors especially with Reinberg illuminations it's pretty colorful um, but um, I would therefore say don't invest uh, too much um, at the beginning but gain experience this way now concerning the connecting of a um, of a, a laptop uh, or a, a television or a monitor highly highly recommended um, for both uh, for the the stereo microscope and the compound microscope because if you've got four five six kids uh, around it um, you want to keep them interested and active and if only one child is able to look through the microscope at a time and you have to take rounds um, then you've already lost the interest of the other children um, so as a teacher I can say really um, especially if you have, do some group work um, yeah if, if, if monitor connecting is, is highest priority and therefore definitely recommended even if you get a stereo microscope that you get one with a with a photo tube where you can connect the camera concerning the cameras uh, there are uh, several um, alternatives here there are some hdmi cameras out there uh, that you can connect directly and uh, without a computer you can connect it directly to an hdmi monitor and that's an advantage as well because you don't need um, a computer <laughs> right uh, it keeps things simple and uh, for this reason it, it's uh, to be preferred and then you can get yourself two cheap monitors maybe each one with a hdmi um, two hdmi cameras for each microscope um, and then the the kids um, are busy right um, so certainly something uh, to be recommended so I'm going to uh, kind of summarize this um, again um, great idea uh, I think it's it's really nice try to get the kids involved and uh, by making them collect specimens and go for stereo um, and then for the compound uh, prepare some slides yourself um, for the microscopy club so that uh, essentially you have something to show to the children uh, directly without the need of, of, of actually doing um, the fancy specimen preparation right um, and take it slow okay step by step as you gain your experience um, I think you can of course also upgrade and expand microscopes um, which are more suitable for your needs so don't rely on my opinion um, concerning uh, the ideal microscope but rely on your own experience and your own needs and last but not least as a final comment there are those really cheap USB microscopes that uh, you basically are about this size um, and uh, you can con directly connect them to a uh, to a either your mo mobile phone either, you know, or a computer over USB and then you can simply I don't know you can just uh, look at the at different things and then if you have one of the or two of those as well then you can also keep the kids busy by observing their own leaves or their own insects that they brought along by simply pointing this microscope this tiny microscope uh, on the insect and if you uh, get yourself a little adapter um, then uh, you can uh, the kids can also take pictures using the mobile phones I don't know if seven year olds should already have a mobile mobile phone but that's a different issue get the parents involved as well they should help out a little bit all the best happy micro hunting as always leave your comments behind see you around next time bye bye